Hi everybody, Chef Desmond Keefe here, and it's time for another episode of Humble Spud. Today, it's all about soup. So we're gonna have two soups for you, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So the first one is my sausage kale potato soup, which has got all kinds of great vegetables in there. It's perfect for any kind of winter's day or even just a nice meal to have at any time. Then the other we have is a corn chowder with green chilies in it, and they're both gonna be so sticking to your ribs good, I know you're gonna love it. Let's get right to it. So the first thing I wanna do is take my kale that I already washed and stemmed, and I'm gonna just chop that up because I wanna make sure it's ready to go when it's time to throw it into the pot in just a little bit. All right, so we just cut it cross one way and then the other, and there it is. So we'll have that. This is all part of our mise en place, a place for everything, as we all know. And so there it is right there. And now let's move over to the stove so we can get the, hot, the heat on and get the rest of this soup going. All right. Now, the first thing I wanna do is get a little oil into my pot, just like so, and turn on the heat. All right, let's get all that in there. Yeah, definitely, okay? I have some chorizo sausage here. We're gonna be browning that up, and that's the base to the, all the flavors that are going to be a part of this soup. So let's let that just get a little bit more on it right now. And as soon as it is simmering, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, let's get that in there. Oh yeah, so there's that nice sound that we're looking for. We're just gonna grab our spoon right here so we can stir that up. All right, there it is. There's that, there's that nice flavor we can smell. Mm-hmm. All right, we just want to brown those up a little bit. I have some diced onions right here. We're gonna add those in. And then we also have some carrots. We're gonna dice those, put those in there. And the celery, okay. Carrot, celery, and onions. That's our mirepoix, right? All right, we're gonna put those in. Stir, stir, stir. As you can see, everything's starting to get that nice color from the sausage, which we absolutely adore. All right, just getting the nice, until they soften up a little bit. Now at this point, I think it's a good idea to get some garlic in there. And that's another one of my philosophies. There's no such thing as too much garlic. So that's about four cloves of garlic that we're gonna stick into that soup right now. And then in addition to that, I've got some nice jalapeno peppers that we minced up, and that's gonna give us a good amount of heat. So we'll keep the soup, soup work working here. Okay, got some green and red peppers all diced up. We're gonna pop those in now. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. All right, so now you can see we've got some nice color in, in, in our pot, and that's what we're also looking for. Nice variety of colors as well as flavors. Okay. Now, I do have some beautiful uh, oregano. I've got a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and I've got the crushed red pepper, because again, I just love a little bit of heat in my soup, especially th this one. This is just one of my... Uh, go-to soups. I usually make a gallon of this at a time uh, at home and then I have quarts in the freezer to pull out whenever I want. And so that's how I love to make that soup. And last but not least, we're going to get in our diced tomato. I did concasse these tomatoes, so that means I, I uh, doused them in a little bit of hot water and then I peeled them, seeded them, cut them in, in half, seeded them out, and then diced them. And so that way we don't have any uh, tomato skin or seeds mixed in to our soup. It's just that nice flesh that we want. I also have some uh, nice navy beans here. I soaked these overnight and then boiled them before I put them in. So that way they're mostly cooked 
and then they'll finish in the pot. All right. So now we're getting pretty hearty here. All these different components, but we haven't added our favorite ingredient. Here it comes. So I'm using uh, red bliss potatoes for, for this soup. And the reason why is twofold. I love the, the fact that they've got the skin still on them, that you can leave the skin on. So that gives you a nice color. Uh, and the other thing, they're kind of a waxy potato, which means that they give you a great uh, flavor profile, but they don't break down in, in the soup. They'll stay whole even after you've boiled it for quite a while. So that's why I like to use the red potatoes for that. And then we're gonna get this, I got the tomato paste. We're gonna throw a little bit of that in there. Stir, stir, stir. All right, so now it, it, we've got to the point where we can add our stock. Don't forget salt and pepper. Always wanna make sure we give a nice pinch of salt and a nice pinch of pepper and get that stirring just like that. All right, so now I can add two cups of chicken stock and see how that does. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want that to have plenty of stock to be able to get that simmer going that I'm looking for. All right, so now let's let that come to a boil and we'll be ready to add our kale in about 10 minutes. All right, this is cooking along beautifully right now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add in this chopped kale that we have here, all right? Stir, stir, stir. All right, and we'll probably, uh, at this point, we can turn our temperature down to a simmer, and that way all those flavors will be able to incorporate, and my kale is gonna have an opportunity to cook up very nicely. So there we go, right there. Let's turn that down to a simmer and let that go for about another 10 minutes. All right, so here we are with our soup. It's all ready to be served, so, this is our chorizo sausage, kale, and potato soup. And we're just gonna put a nice ladle full, get a little extra broth on there like that. One of the things I love about this is all the, all the different textures and flavors and complexity. You got the tomato paste as well as the diced tomatoes. So it's just a really rich broth that you have in there. Now, if you really wanted to, you could leave the uh, sausage out once again uh, and, and le make it a vegetarian dish. You could even go with vegetable uh, stock if you wanted to as well. So that's all about you and your desire. So now it's time to move on and we're gonna start our corn chowder with green chilies. The first thing I'd like to do is make my creamed corn. So I've got some corn that I shucked off of some ears uh, a little earlier today. And now I'm gonna put those right into my food processor like that with just a little bit of heavy cream. All right, give that a little moisture. And then what we're gonna do is we'll attach our uh, top to it and we're gonna give it a little pulse. Oh, there you go. And that's gonna release that, uh, those juices so that we have a nice creamy, uh, corn chowder, right? So if you just put the whole niblets in, it won't have an opportunity to give you that nice, almost milky uh, consistency that we get when we're using the uh, almost pureed corn. So I'm gonna do a, just another pulse on there. Just like that, just to give it that, oh, there it is. Okay, perfect, very good. All right, so now that's all set and we'll be using that a little bit later when we get to that point in the soup. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some bacon in here. I got a little bit of oil in a pan, and we got some nice, uh, just gentle uh, heat uh, on the bottom there, because we don't wanna burn our bacon. But as you know, chowder means a pork product and cream. That, that's the traditional thing. Now, of course, if you are in um, Manhattan, then you're familiar with Manhattan clam chowder, and that has tomato instead of cream. But traditionally, it means potato, pork product, and cream. All right, that, that's what we like to think of when we are having our chowder. In this case here, once again, we're going with a uh, green chili corn chowder. So now I'm gonna add in my aromatics. I've got the garlic and some celery and some diced red pepper and some onion. 
get all those in there and let them uh, do their work. And that's exactly what that means. When I say aromatic, it's just, oh, you can smell that. It's so wonderful and flavorful. And as I always say, there's no such thing as too much garlic. And there you go. All right. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in my tomato. Just like that. And I'm also going to go ahead and add in my potato, which is again a, a nice russet potato. We peeled and diced these about a uh, half an inch. So we want that nice uh, bite to it when we, when we eat our chowder. All right, so there's that. Stir, stir, stir. I'm gonna turn that up to a high heat because we're gonna get the stock in real quick. Here it comes. I got my, my chicken stock right here. Bring that right in. And we're gonna let that come to a boil. And it's gonna go about 20 minutes before we get to our next step. Okay, so our potatoes are all cooked beautifully now. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and add in the two corns that we have. I've got some, I've got three quarters of a cup of niblet corn that I cut off the, the cob. And then here is that cream corn that we pureed a little bit earlier. So we're gonna put both of those in there, just like that. In addition, I've got some of this beautiful green chilies that we diced up. We're gonna put those right in like that, roasted green chilies. And then finally, I do have a little bit of some Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there too. And that is going to come to a simmer. And then we'll be just about ready to serve. All right, so here it is. We've got our beautiful corn chowder uh, with green chilies. And that means we're gonna be serving right here once again. I've got that uh, great flavor going on with all those tomatoes and of course the potatoes and the green chilies. And there it is right there. And so today's episode, we had the two soups. We had the uh, sausage kale potato soup and we had our corn chowder with green chilies. And both of those are gonna really warm your belly and make you happy that you have such a wonderful life. Well, that's it for our soup episode today. Tune in next time when it's all about the appetizers. We're gonna be making sweet potato, Vietnamese shrimp cakes, and a whole lot more. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at Truly Seasoned. And if you want, you can even pop in at the Burlington Agricultural Center in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and you'll find the Humble Spud Farm Stand serving up some great potato dishes. Stay humble out there.